at the 2013 Forum of the African Union Democracy Day in Accra, the media was reminded to focus its reportage on the voices of the marginalized for development. The forum was organized by the Media Foundation for West Africa and the Nigeria-based Center for Democracy and Development, CDD. Though democracy is an all-inclusive system of governance, giving equal attention to all sectors of society, some considered to be in the minority are often neglected. As the mediator between government and the masses, the media has a role to play in ensuring that all sections of the society, irrespective of gender, physical makeup or geographical location, are fairly represented in the governance processes. Consequently, this year's African Union Democracy Day Forum focused on the role of the Ghanaian media in strengthening marginalized voices for democratic development. Panelists at the forum comprised representatives from the Ghana Federation of the Disabled, the media and the Center for Democracy and Development of Nigeria. They addressed members of the media to take keen interest in promoting issues of the marginalized in society. You have this kind of beautiful instrument talking about disability rights, talking about inclusion, talking about participation, not participation in the sense of voting this time around, but going beyond to say that you state parties are actually enjoined to create conditions to enable citizens actively participate in the democratic process. While women are making efforts, it is now the turn of the media to see them in that light as people who can contribute to those discussion programs and engage them more. A director of the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Madame Patience Sopoku, entreated the media to be gender sensitive in their reportage. If media practitioners will take up the challenge to ensure analytical and objective reportage, innovative documentaries, and commentary writing that demonstrate a high level of professionalism with a twist of some gender sensitivity, it would help address the social, cultural, educational, and even economic barriers that relegate women and other groups to the background. Madame Opoku added that nation building is the responsibility of all and the media has a huge tax to hold public institutions and society accountable.